I wanted to show a video here of doing laser wheel alignment. I'm using some wheel racks which have rim grabbers, some boss lasers, and some targets here. The conventional way to do wheel alignment is to align the rims, but you're not necessarily aligning the axle itself. You're assuming that the rim is square to the axle, but some rims are actually bent. And what the Nissan manual actually shows is that you can align your wheels with a tape measure simply by marking a mark on both tires, measuring the tape measure, and then rolling the car a half a turn forward and then you see how much that measure changes and you want one millimeter toe in which is about 0.1 degrees toe in. Uh, race car drivers will do that too so the advantage of rotating your wheel is it doesn't matter if your rim is crooked you're actually doing the axle itself is where the alignments happening so in this video I'm going to show using lasers to do that and it doesn't take long, it takes 15 minutes and you get super accurate measurements where I made a spreadsheet here which I have available on the description of the video you just follow these steps, you put in all your measurements and then you'll get your total tow which on this car that I'm doing now tows alright but I was way off on the back so I actually had to shim the back and now I'm gonna check the shim and see what we got. So you just go down the steps. So the first step was drive the car forward two turns. Now step number two is that we're gonna be 125 inches from the bumper and that's a calculated value based on the wheelbase and the distance for the front bumper and the back bumper. And then we're gonna be on a couple targets. We're gonna look for loose linkages by shaking the wheel and then we'll start putting in our numbers. So I'll show you that on this video. Now we just clamp on. We don't really care if the rack is level. You just eyeball it. And you push it. Get it on your rim good. But since we're moving it, we're fine. And then we're going to set up our laser here. Aiming forward. Now I've already centered the steering wheel. Now I do want to be on level ground. And then I want to adjust the height of the laser, the same as on my target there. And I'm measured 125 inches out. Because that way I'm going to have the same distance at the being right next to the back bumper when I check it going back. So now what I want to do is just shake, just gently shake the steering wheel and see if one laser is is not moving. So I can see that one's moving right there. A little bit of shake. Yeah, they're both. I can see they're both. My suspension is pretty tight. Because if I were to have loose ball joints, I would see the difference on those two lasers. So now let's measure the distance. Now measuring this distance is super easy with a magnet. Because I have the magnet right by my beam. And see how the tape measure just locks right in. And I just pull it over. Easy peasy. So I'm 88 inches. Just write that down in the spreadsheet. So number two is shaking the wheels. Number three is 88 inches. Let's go to step number four. We're gonna go forward half a turn on the car. And I'm just gonna drive it forward and those beams are gonna end up shooting towards the back. Because we'll be measuring our back distance and we'll be measuring the distance to our rims. Now I'm gonna hold my steering wheel exactly straight right there and then I'm gonna watch as I move forward and do half a turn. Now you don't want to back up so it's better to be a little short and then move it forward a little bit more. If you're not exact that's fine. You can 
adjust it a little bit. It doesn't affect the accuracy that much. So the back also ended up being 88. Edit that. So that makes my toe at zero, which I need to toe that in a little bit. I think I'll just adjust that right now. Because all I need to go is about a quarter inch. Quarter inch in on the front, quarter inch there. But let's see which side I should go. So we'll finish number six and then I'll just go ahead and adjust my toe. So six, we're measuring the beam to all the hubs. Let's start with the right side first. It doesn't really matter where you measure. The tire is not very accurate because tires are not very square. So I'm going to be measuring it in a flat spot right there. So we got seven and seven eighths on the front. And we're going to do the same flat spot on the back. Seven and one eighths. So 7.8 and then 7.13 in the back. Let's go ahead and measure our other side. This way I can see which, which wheel do I need to tow in the front. Let's get number six on the driver's side. Now that was 7.8 on both sides for number six. So here it's saying the toe of each wheel is zero because we have our total toe at zero and the wheels have to add up. They add up to the total toe. So I'm gonna go by my measurement of which one is off. That'll be the one I adjust. So I have this wheel seems to be towed out a little bit because it's shorter right here. So I'm going to tow that wheel in and it's only going to be like a not even a half a turn. You can see half a turn moved me a quarter inch on the beam. If I want to see what my new tow angle is, I'll add a quarter on the back and subtract a quarter on the front. So now I'm at 0.09 degrees, which is what I want to be. Generally 0.1 is your perfect toe. There's no need to recheck this because I was so close. So let's keep going and let's see what we have in the back. Step number seven is move the lasers to the back wheels and we're going to be 115 inches out on our boxes. And then shake the wheels and see what we get. So now I'll shake it left and right. <clears throat> That's fine. Now right down we got 89.2. And this could be in centimeters, could be millimeters, it could be in any units you want. Just have to do the units all the same. So step number eight. Yeah, it was write it down. Step number nine, forward half a turn. So my measurement is 88.6. And my toe, it was 0.28 before I shimmed it. Now I'm 0.11. It doesn't get better than that. So now let's measure step number 11 and we'll just check our individual wheels. So I put in number 11 and you can see now it's my left wheel is the one that's more off and that changes my thrust angle so I got a slight thrust angle and so if, if this were a solid axle I could actually just adjust it on the leaf spring but these are four wheel independent and uh, so number 12 I really don't care about on this one 
And I, I put some explanations here of all the steps on the bottom of the spreadsheet. So this turned out good. I got great toe in the back. I got great toe in the front. I got my steering angle. Yeah, it's saying it's a little bit off. But steering angle, you can adjust when you drive. Just in the future, you figure out which wheel you want to adjust on the front. And I'll show you a real, real quick video how I put my shim in the back to get that good. Because that was .28, and this car was eating tires on the back. Every time I would take this car in to get alignment, they would never give me the paper showing what the alignment was. Now this shim is 13 degrees. I converted it to 18. It is measuring 44 mils and 33, and I took it down to 28 mils on the thin side. So I'm gonna put the fat side in the front, and it just shims right in there with the four bolts, and then that'll push that tire out. I have two versions of the spreadsheet. A PDF version, which is a form PDF, and also the Excel version. The parts list is right here in the middle of the spreadsheet. So we got two Bosch lasers, and I want to show how it's constructed here. They have a metal bottom, so it gets a pretty flat mount, and I just drilled holes drilled holes and I have two nylon ties holding it. I didn't want to use double stick because I don't want it to move. I want it to be on there solid. It might be possible to find a laser that goes into this because this is kind of a universal mount where you can put different things you know in there. They might actually make a laser. I didn't find one on the internet so I just made it myself. They had a pin here that stops you from rotating. I took that pin out I, I want to be able to rotate this to adjust and this laser this one has either a dot or it has a line but the line is not really useful so I just use the dot side of it and I liked it because it has a, a level on it and it, it's pretty precise and then the rack itself you can get they come from China there's a company making me in China Sometimes they have the table and sometimes they don't. Here's the guy on eBay uh, that I bought from. So his name is Bracket Tracer. But uh, you can, if you search what I have in the description, 3D wheel alignment, rack tool, 11 to 25 inch, you'll find a ton of them. You can also get it from China directly for half the price, but they, they do charge quite a bit on shipping. And then you need a tape measure some white boxes. I'm using their weighted boxes so the boxes don't move. And then that, that's magnet is just a one inch round magnet right there. You can contact me on my YouTube channel if you have any suggestions on the spreadsheet. I can make changes or if you find any bugs on the spreadsheet. But I've used this several times and it works good. I do have a version number here, version 1.1. .1. So if you do any updates, it'll go to the Dropbox which will be that, that folder. You'll be able to see everything in this uh, folder right here. I've been pretty impressed with the build quality of this rack. It's really easy to use. And then you can even buy replacement of these pins. So it has two different styles right there. That might be for a different type of rim. And then it just uses the O-rings that hold it in place. It just has some O-rings there. So you want to push it, make sure it's pushed all the way in. And then that's a safety cap that goes on there. So it's a simple way to adjust toe. You're looking at less than $300 worth of materials. And you can do a more accurate job than uh, multi-thousand dollar machines will do because you're moving the car. So you don't need, you don't need the toe plates because moving the car is frictionless because those wheels will settle exactly where they're supposed to be when that car moves. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.